it's Thursday. So today we're going to be continuing our chaos run where every time my Pokemon level up, they evolve into something random and I get to make it. <laughs> All right, so where we left off, chaos had just evolved into Gallade. Um, and we also have Crisis as Togetic and Calamity is an Aaron. So I'm not fully sure where I'm supposed to go next, but <laughs> Uh, we'll work it out. Oh, the dancing girls! The dancing girls! Yeah, the gym leader mentioned that they knew who I was. We're gonna go talk to some dancing girls, because I don't remember if they all attack me, or if I just have to fight one, or if I just watch a little show. Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. That's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Maybe they're just drunk. Oh, just spinning and spinning and spinning! There's a way. Wait, wait, wait. This is what we want to see. <laughs> Alright, yeah, looking at that level 12, I potentially was supposed to do this first. <laughs> oh, it happens, it happens, it happens. Can we just blow them away? Right, I'm, I am actually hoping to get through a, a few bigger chunks of storyline this time. Um, we're starting to hit, like, the level 20s, and, well, that's been really good for padding out the Pokédex. Like, there should hypothetically be longer gaps between them leveling up. Particularly now that there's three three on the team. So, oh no, you made me look like a villain. Is that it? <laughs> Is that literally the whole thing? Why did I think they had Eevees? I'm just getting my generations mixed up again, clearly. Like, I thought that they had, like, the Eevee, Eevee Lucians or something, and I had to battle my way through them, and then they gave me Surf, but they didn't. Oh. Is that Surf? It's Surf. Okay, so I did remember part of it correctly, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now the real struggle begins of finding a Pokemon or evolving a Pokemon that can learn it. I don't think any of my, my seagulls... Eh! <laughs> I don't think any of my seagulls can swim. Unable, unable, unable. Uh, is there anything else I'm supposed to do in this town? Did I go into the towers? A long time ago there used to be a Pokemon at the top of this tower, namely Ho-Oh. But it flew away and no one has seen it since. Oh, so he's just like not letting me climb the tower. To be continued. It's fine. We didn't really want a new team member now anyway. I knew I couldn't catch it then, but I have. I wasn't sure if I was going to get to like encounter it, you know? That's that's kind of it. A critique is like just this dead end of a town. I guess we'll leave this way. Ooh! Apricorns. And you're a battle. And you're gonna put me to sleep. We did, we did so much of this last episode. Psychic Greg. Now one of the comments from last time told me to remember that I had an ether. But I swear I don't have an ether. I have two of them. Oh my, mm. To the person who told me that those were there. Thank, thank you. I hope that wasn't too frustrating for you because now I'm frustrated. I don't think it really would have sped up what happened last episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the gym fight that takes up like half an hour. I had ether there the whole time. <laughs> Sleeping tactic is like the worst. Cal, sweetie, please, would you, would you wake up? We've got a yellow taper? Taper? Looks like a taper. A yellow taper to deal with. Who's healing himself. You know what? I've had enough of this. I've had enough. Who's my biggest, strongest? Do something to the, to the nasty yellow thing. A booger. Bite them. Much better. Oh my god. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I didn't really want to split that XP, but it happens. Sorry, Greg. Okay. Alright. Alright, okay. So where do we go from here? To the map. Oh, hey. The, 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 the dogs <laughs> are now on the map. Oh, what's funny about that is that I may not... I could be actively encountering them and not know because they're randomized. Oh no, Ecruteek has. All right, it looks like that I missed some exits back at Ecruteek, so we're going to go back to Ecruteek. Aw, spiky puppy. I have this nervous feeling that I conduct electricity as a steel type. Oh, Cal, I cannot wait for you to evolve. I love Aaron, but you are just a tiny pebble in the face of some of the things that we are trying to battle. Jolteon down. <laughs> yeah, we got some decent XP from that, so, so Cal will be evolving again soon. And we're going to stop for a little heal, and then we're going to go looking for those exits that I somehow missed. <laughs> and there's the exit. Okay, so now the question becomes, which exit do we want to take? 
So we can go this way towards Mahogany. It's our hiding place for ninjas. And then the other one is Holbine. A city where you can hear the melody of the sea. Yeah, and that's where the Ampharos plotline is, which we've already been introduced to. Ooh, choices. I understand that there'll be only one way I can get through, but I'm going to try the path to Olivine first, and then if I can't get through that way, Mahogany is where we were supposed to go. That, that seems nice and straightforward. To the left! Da -da -da. Oh, evening, sir. Ooh, we got, we got sailors and pathways and free stuff. Max Potion. We like those. We won't be using those for a long time, but we like them. Do I want to fight a sailor? Ahoy! I've been overseas, so I know about all sorts of Pokemon. Oh, that's interesting. I bet you only have an octopus, though. Sarah, sailor Harry. Oh, you've got a Wooper! That's delightful! Oh, Mud's not good for me, either. Mud's really not good for me. I'm gonna do something I wouldn't normally do, and I'm gonna heal in a battle that has no consequences. It's a plant. It cares not for your watery antics. There we go. That's just like... Send in big plant, plant goes chomp. Sorry, Harry. Ah. I didn't mean to talk to you, I'm so sorry, cow. No! Stop! Ah. I just want to go back this way before she tries to attack me. So I can heal you up. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're gonna fight him for the experience. Oh, it's not a nice trainer, it's a flyer. It's Team Sky. They're not wearing green, so I guess they're not. They're wearing blue. It's black and red on the overworld. Hello. I have a Dodrio somewhere in my crisis. Okay, the duo has fainted. We got all of the tasty XP for ourselves. Uh, we will keep battling, and Cal might actually evolve this this um trainer if they're all they're all Doduos giving about 300 each. That might be our first evolution for the day. <laughs> Just spray bottle in here. <laughs> Calamite! Yeah! Oh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Yeah, we're gonna do it! Yay! Oh, the <laughs> doodoo is getting angry because I'm squirting it in the face. Oh, come on, noodle bird! Yay! Good job, Cal. 3, 6, 9 XP and. That's gonna do it! Calamity wants to learn the move Roar. Okay. I'm not great with those long-term strategy type ones. I don't really like them. I like the ones that just punch them in the face really hard. And um, Roar makes the things go away, which is also very helpful to me. Okay. Here we go. Cal's going to have her first evolution. Well, how are we going to start off today? Because last time we had everything from like small robots to legendaries back to plants. So I feel like we hit a really broad section, but here we go. Calamity is evolving. It's Mew. That's Mew! <laughs> That's Mew! Why are we starting with the legendary again? But I don't even care because look at you! He's a tiny, he's a little kitten fetus! Hi! I don't know, I just... Okay. okay, so we're gonna stop here and I'm gonna make a Mew. Now, those of you familiar with Complicated Knots lore actually know that I've made Mew before. However, it was one of the very first things that I ever, ever made, and I didn't know the difference between a slip stitch and a single crochet at that point in time, so I made the whole thing using slip stitch. And this is what that looks like. And of course I'll keep her forever, because I love her, and like, first creations are just such a special thing. But it's really cool to get to go back and make another one now using my own pattern and knowing what stitches to use.
can't believe we just got a Mew. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're back from creating Mew. Calamity is our resident legendary at the moment. It's so funny that it started that way both times, in both episodes, because like, I don't know, there are just so many choices along the way that could have meant that both of them happened in the same episode, and instead they've chosen to like space themselves out a little bit, which is nice. Calamity is still a level behind the others. I still think that Calamity gets the next level, even though I wanted to like alternate. We'll walk around with Planty Boy for a little bit, um, and there, there's a pretty low chance of us getting another evolution straight away. But if it happens, it happens. It's just the way it goes. Do I want to go up there and fight the beauty? Yeah. Oh, apparently. Apparently, uh... Infernape <laughs> has other plans. Please don't burn down all the foliage. Okay, cool. Alright, we battled the Infernape. <laughs> a good chunk of XP too, so I know if I have to grind and level up anywhere, I'm at least at a proper level for the area I'm in. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Who are you? Valerie. Valerie with a little Hoppip! Hoppip's the last one I need to complete that evolutionary line, and yes, I'm going to say that every single time I encounter a Hoppip. That's just how this works. Um, what do I want to do to the little hobbit? That's good. That was a good slurp of XP. I may have to swap them back though, just so I don't. I don't know if I want to evolve straight away. Ethan, why are you calling me? Well, I'll talk to you more about my mother later. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to be screening Ethan's calls from now on. And we want to go to the up and to the across. Oh, hi. I used to run, oh, Safari Zone, but it was becoming out of date. The Safari Zone was always like one of my favorite things. Like, I know that there was only like a very small handful of things you could actually find in there, but it felt so much bigger than that. Yes, open it, open a Safari Zone. Okay. Hi, Mimus. I hope you are not too sad. Oh, hello. Is that milk? Rain Punch. Ha! Ooh, they can all learn it. We'll wait and see where the gap's up here, though. I can be a little miserly when it comes to teaching moves that I don't have to teach. Okay. Cows aren't giving milk. We need berries. Oh, here we are. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of orange berries. Let's cry as weak. Give an orange berry. Yeah. Have a bit. Yeah? Do I have another one? Cool. Hey! I did it! I don't know how many I actually have. Oh, I have none left. And I've given them all away, so I can't even plant any. That's my bad. Hello, just when you least expect it. I'm Cameron, the photographer. Why not with the cows in the background, man? I'm <laughs> just mute, chilling out over my shoulder. Well, you're a trainer if I ever saw one. So are you. So lots of trainers on the way to Olivine. Okay, so we need to keep a lookout for orange berries with the rest of our travels. But let's, let's go back here and actually finish off the rest of those trainers and get Crisis up a level. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we got a student trying to trying to learn things. Like how to pack a backpack. Did you have to have a Mr. Mime? Guys, I gotta tell ya, if my Pokemon ever evolve into a Mr. Mime, I don't think I'm gonna do it. He's so creepy. Look how close that is. Look how close this is. Bring it in the mouse of a pointing in effect. It was like this much. This will get us the final bit of XP for Crassus. And that will get me back on track. Fluffy! Lamb chops for dinner for chaos. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the static electricity. That should be okay though. We, we would have gotten, we would absolutely have gotten paralyzed anyway. Just, it was like versing electric types. The AI always goes into the, para, the paralyze. Come on, chaos. Don't, don't do this. Don't be like that. Just chew your way through the sheep. Yay! Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. So we're definitely evolving at the end of this battle. I might swap and um, send Cal back in and they can absorb the excess XP. Okay, good. We're not, it's not, no, it's not effective. It's not effective. What type is new? Is new normal type? I need to look. I need to look. <laughs> no, don't give him the duck milk. There we go, that's a dead trick. All right, there we go. Cal has, oh, oh yeah, I forgot the crisis is evolving. Hey, okay. All right, so we've gotten our legendary out of the way. Something small and fluffy would be nice. Come on, Chaos, what do you got for us? That Flissy? I didn't think, I didn't realize Blissey was this generation, but cool, okay. Pink ball. 
with a couple of frills. Like, I'll take it. Oh, very pink team. I wonder if we can keep that going. Oh, I can check what Mew is. Mew is a psychic type. I should have known that. I should have known that. There was no reason not to know that. Serene Grace. Boosts the likelihood of added effects appearing. What does that mean? Someone in the comments tell me what that means. I'm sure it's something, like, obvious. It sounds like a good thing. Alright, here we go. Hi, buddy! <laughs> Chaos seems happy to have found something. That's all yours, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna stop there and we're gonna make a Blissey. <laughs> and we're gonna use the exact same yarn as we used for our Mew. And we're back. Okay, let's see if we can't round up a few more pink options. Is it Chaos or... Chaos was Ho-Oh last time, right? It's just I want to... I want to like cross my fingers and hope that when those evolutionary loops do eventually close off, because I mean they have to eventually, right? That uh, something like those legendaries is included in the bundle. It would be great. I believe that's all the trainers from that area, which gets us to Route 39. And then we will start picking on these trainers. Okay, Psychic Nelson. Cool. We're just gonna not acknowledge the fact that people in the Pokemon world have magical powers. Tupog, another pink boy. Okay. What a gun. I feel like Slowpoke might enjoy that though. <laughs> Got myself caught in a little like water gun shoot off. Okay, does that knock out the Slowpoke? Close, very close. I have such a soft spot for Slowpoke. I think he's a cutie. A little jelly bean. Could you not? Could you not curse me? Wait, wasn't there a ghost move that put the curse on me and didn't behave that way? Or is that was that spite that put a curse on me? And this is just Slowpoke putting a curse on himself. Sailor boy! Eugene! I'm sure I guys miss you. Alright, Polywell. Just like a lot of very wet Pokemon. Polywell's a bit of fun though. I know exactly how I would make that spiral. And we're asleep again. Yes, Calamity! Okay, so close. This Raticate should do it. Oh, and there's two more, so we'll, we will put both of them on her, I think. I always associate Raticate with water for some reason. I think it's because in the original Red, which is the first game I played, and that's the one I played the most, we used to just like surf a little bit south from um, Pallet Town. And there's this patch of grass where you can catch Raticates, and maybe that's why? Because I'm pretty sure you don't catch them by fishing. Well, I can counter them by swimming, but I think it's just that little patch of water that you have to traverse to get there is why I have that connection. And oh look, I prattled my way through that entire battle without looking at the screen once. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Calamity grew to level 23. Oh, my health is quite low. Oh, <laughs> so is it. Okay, Cal is going to evolve. I'm actually kind of... I get that it's boring, but I'm kind of hoping that we add to the pink theme, so... Ditto. Slowpoke. Slowbro. Chansey. That's... 
That's ho -Oh again. Oh, okay, we need to stop and map this out for a second, because I think that means that two of my Pokemon are now on the same loop. Basically, there is a many-to-one relationship going on with these Pokemon, where more than one can evolve into the same thing, but they will always evolve into the same thing. So yeah, what that means is that by evolving into Ho-Oh, Calamity is always going to turn into Magnemite next, and then into Shieldon, and then into Gallade, and so on and so forth. She's basically on the exact same evolutionary line as Chaos is. Which means that, um, rather than keeping both of them on the team, I've come to a decision. And that is, Calamity is going in the box. Chaos has been with the team since since they hatched from a level 5 egg. So if we're going to keep just one of them on the team, it just makes sense that we're going to keep Chaos, who has provided us with almost 20 unique evolutions at this point. So, Calamity, thank you very much. But it is time to put you in the box. But of course, this is also why we have supplementary Pokemon. So, Kenya, welcome back to the team. And Kenya will be part of the team from, from now moving forward. I feel pretty good about this decision. But if like something happens with the evolutions that changes things, we will of course bring Cal back onto the team. We obviously don't need to make another Ho-Oh because we did that last time. And okay, back out to where those trainers were. Kenya, I hope you're ready for this. You know what, you look really cool in the overworld. I always thought you were very... Evening, sir. I always thought you were like a little too buggy for me, but then... Oh! I don't know what this is. This is a bug. Um, anyway, give me a second to reset. Okay, and we're back. I'm not going to mention the B word again. Let's take Kenya and get her evolving into something else. Drapion! It's cool little, like, mouth whiskers. So it's like... Alright, Kenya. That is a level 40! Is this one of the legendary dogs? I think this is one of the legendary dogs. Um, I don't even know how I would prove this, but for it to be level 40 in an area that isn't level 40. Yeah, I, th I think it has to be, right? Like, logically. It fled! It did! It did! It fled! It is! Okay, so one of the legendary dogs is a Drapion. <laughs> so we'll know what that means if it turns up again in future. Kenya, yeah, you ready for some actual XP now? Here we go, we've got a couple of trainery doobits here. Good. Good job, Kenya, already. Need to get you some better moves. Okay, that should... that should do the trick! Okay, here we go! Our actual third evolution of today. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> and the little Pichu on your back. Okay, Kenya, we've put this off for a while. Like, we've been a little on again, off again. Do you want to join the pink team? Let's, let's, see, if, let's see if Kenya can fulfill that promise. Lava. <laughs> it's a weasel! It's a fire weasel. Oh, it's Typhlosion! I'm so sorry! Kilava is... is Kilava the one in between? Cyndaquil and Typhlosion? Oh well, anyway, I, I, I knew it was the third evolution of Cyndaquil. Um, Typhlosion, that's so cool! I'll have to do the fire the same way I did the Cyndaquil, but that's fine, I can do that. Hi! So cute on the overworld. Alrighty, let's have a look at Kenya. Kenya the Typhlosion. Blaze. Powers up fire type moves in a pinch. Okay, so now we are actually going to stop and make our third evolution of today, which is a Typhlosion. I'm gonna have to dig out that Cyndaquil. Hold on.
And there we go. I love it when I get them and they're close together or they're evolutions of each other because it feels like I'm really starting to fill out the Pokedex. What have you got? Okay, so if this person has... Well, what, like, let's just have a look at what this person has. A bunch of pineapples? Okay, well it's just one Pikachu so uh, Kenya can definitely take that out. Oh yeah, Sonic Boom will do. I feel like I'm slowly running out of puns the longer this series runs. Oh, look, there we go, we got some XP. Oh, I forgot that he gets boosted XP because technically he belonged to um the, the Border Guard. I don't need anything about baby Pokemon, thank you. Now this should say on the road to Olivine. Nope, trainer tips, headbutts. I don't have headbutts. Oh, that's fun. Flags. Fun with flags. I was gonna say, that looks like a gym. Frank. I really don't like this guy. Like, the Ampharos in the lighthouse is completely curable, but he's just like, no, nah, just let it die. Okay, let's pop on in here. I just have to say, it's very narratively convenient that Ampharos can't be magically healed the way everybody else can. So what else is in this town? Ooh, we've got some houses. Okay, and then this would be the lighthouse, maybe? I don't know something very romantic about lighthouses. Let's see how we go. If I'm if I'm level wise off, I'll um explore the town a little bit more. Evening, sir. I'm not I'm not playing. I am I canonically a child because I'm I'm getting a very child treatment. And I just it grates on my old lady self. Okay, so I'm kind of like just well with Kenya anyway, just below the level I would like to be. My other two are probably at about the right level for this, but that's okay. Kenya will catch up. So he's looking more and more like a candidate, that drain punch. Noctowl has a tantrum. He's having a hoot. Come on, Kenya. Come on, a little bit more. Don't let that owl get you. Yeah. Okay, we got him. Wow. That is so much XP. Yeah, I must be canonically a child. That actually does make a lot of sense. Oh, we got a sailor. Excellent. Huey. Poliwag. This run needs more frogs. But I am a fire type, so that water gun <laughs> isn't ideal. <laughs> oh, a little quick attack to finish the job. And I hope this guy has at least one more Pokemon because it'd be good to like double up. Because I don't like grinding for evolutions, I like grinding for levels. Cool. So Kenya is definitely evolving again. Eh, we just gotta squish a couple of frogs first. Probably was a frog. Like it evolves from a tadpole, it's a frog. Plus, I think it's based on that real life animal with like the, the where you can see like the spiral of its gizzards. Amphibians are cool. There we go. How much XP are you gonna give me? 841, that's not bad. Okay, Kenya is evolving again after being a majestic Typhlosion for just a short while. That's okay though. Just cross your fingers that we don't get another converging evolution loop because that would just be really really heartbreaking at this point to lose two in the same run but as we go on it will become more likely anyway let's focus let's get this evolution done come on kenya what is that shell shell gone shell gone shell gone it's our Baggin! Evolved! That's great! Can you can! As opposed to can you not. Okay, let's have a look at our gal. Oh, little nubs. Alright, I'll have to dig out my bag on and so that we can see those two together. But we are going to stop here and we are going to make Kenya's second form, which is Shelgon.
And we're back. Cool. So now we're when, what's the third one in that line again? It's is that Salamence? Bag on shell gone and then Salamence. Sal Salamence is a hell of a lot more intense of a make than, than Shellgon was, little ball. Let's give the next one to Chaos. Theo. Hello, Theo. That is so many Pokemon. Did you see that? That was five. They're all little puppy Pidgeys. That's, that's fine. Let's break the level ups. Bite the chicken nugget. Bite it. It's like children's meal deals, five pack. There's something mildly horrifying about a Blissey that uses bite as its main. Oh no, whirlwind, that's so annoying. At least, at least we brought out Kenya. I don't mind sharing the XP with her. Give me a little feather duster. <laughs> Feathers. Wow, and that's better because just like zero XP. We'll bite him again. Yeah, we flinched. We bite. Three! Two more to go. Four. One more. Keep battling. It's worth, been worth absolutely nothing, but yeah. Let Chaos stretch her prefer, proverbial wings. Her frilly bits. Flex the frilly bits. Who is Todd? Howdy, it's Todd. My sad ass is looking more and more like me. Todd is also getting his call screen. I don't know why I bothered to answer that. <laughs> oh, okay, we go up the ladder. Gentleman Preston with his growl eyes. Apparently we are intimidated. That's fine. We're gonna bust out our overwhelming mental power. We are mentally strong. We are fortified. Look at this, right? You can see this as the nose or try and think of it as the second eye. <laughs> Turns it into a total little guppy face. Yeah, there we go. Bye bye growly boy. Got him. Thank you, Preston. I like that his Pokeballs are on a, on a like a pocket watch chain. I think that's very classy. It's kind of aesthetic. Hello, Lass Connie. Hello, Connie. With your Marill. I hope your Marill packing enough juice to get Chaos up a level because that'd be nice. Let's fight them and see. Let's just do one damage. <laughs> Marill has basically the same body shape as Poliwhirl. I can't be the only one noticing that. Maybe it's one of those evolutionary things. Marill were more likely to survive till this age if they looked more like Poliwhirls. Wow, that still wasn't enough to get us the level. Swagger? Okay. Alright, I must have missed a turn off here somewhere. Maybe I'm supposed to take the elevator. I just assumed it would be locked. Oh, it just takes you straight up to the light room. Fair enough. That was easier than I thought it would be. Oh no, see there we are, there, there is a door. Oh, let's just take a second to admire this room though, that's so pretty. Looking over the land. Okay, um, so I don't know how we get through there. Well, let's go back downstairs and see if I missed a staircase or something somewhere. Maybe I'm supposed to get like the key. Ah, there's a door to the outside. You see that? That's tricky. Oh, oh wonderful. Look at this. Like, keep in mind as well how cutting edge this felt the first time it was being played. Because, like, Legends of Arceus and, like, Scarlet and Violet kind of, like, leave this one well and truly in its dust. But this is where it started. Look at them playing with three-dimensional spaces as solutions to puzzles. Give me the final XP that I need. I'm taking a Blissey up to the Ampharos. We're going to make it all better. Oh, well, excellent. If you have a few of those, it'd be nice to like, get a bit of XP from this. Cool, Chaos is definitely evolving. That's our fifth evolution, so we should have enough to, enough story room, so to speak, to finish off the lighthouse today. So that's good, we'll keep battling. Battle the crab. Waka waka. <laughs> I just decided that that's the noise that that makes. Okay, good. Okay, what do we want Chaos to be next? Let's see, so we've had Mew, we've had Blissey, we've had Typhlosion, and we've had Shelgon. So, 
a lot of blue, a lot of pink. Wouldn't mind a little bit of green. A little bit of green, but then you were only recently Gallade, so I guess I'm just going to leave it up in... I'm going to leave this in Chaos's very capable hands. Or arm knobs, as it were. What do you want to be, Chaos? Rhyperia. Great. That's a Rhyperia. That's a Rhyperia. So there goes the next, like, 12 hours of my life. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, buddy, you can't help yourself, can you? You want to learn? You can learn Rock Blast. I'm cool with that. Let's see. What is Rock Blast, anyway? You might replace Leech Seed with it, just because I'm not getting a lot of play out of Leech Seed. Cool. <laughs> um, hello, my giant chonky friend. Chaos is holding something. No, no, you can keep that. So they get so happy when you let them keep it. They found it. They can keep it. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up, and then we'll check out our Rhyperia. Oh, superior Rhyperia. The Lady Rhyperia. I love that we hatched Chaos from an egg, and since then, they've just been like bouncing around trying to find themselves. Solid Rock reduces damage from super effective attacks. That's cool. HP up to 100, yas! And <laughs> permanent yas face. Um, cool. So we're gonna stop and we're going to make a little pepperoni pizza friend. That's what you want, be chaos. You you do you, boo. But we'll we'll see if it becomes a problem. So we have one little flying trainery do, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't see if that was two or three birds, but it's probably enough to get the level. Unless this is like the Pidgeys all over again, which were not enough to do anything. Okay, looks like he's sending out Firo next, but we are going to stay with Kenya. I'm a little worried that Kenya looks a little bit like bird seed to a giant pointy bird, but we're going to see. <laughs> Oh good, we've got two more. And Crisis can be a little bit of an XP sponge for us, just because it would be nice to reach the top of the lighthouse and call it there. Thank you, Crisis, sweetie. Crisis did not get a lot of screen time this episode, and that's that's a shame. We'll keep battling as Crisis. Because we do need to keep Crisis, like even though Crisis is in a loop, we do need to keep him at least like roughly the same level as the other. First of all, it's our starter. And your starter should always, always be in the mix. I am just, I don't care if you're cry. Oh, they, they killed the, the, the spear open one. That's my bad. I need to pay more attention instead of be ranting about starters. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we got one sailor, two sailors. Okay, so two. well. I like how all the sailors have freshwater Pokemon. Like, I get that the game doesn't actually make that distinction. But I make that distinction. Why do these, like, does that mean that, is that implying that the oceans we're sailing on are actually more like Great Lakes? Do a whole theory video on something like that. Hmm. Could you, could you not? 
I don't want to die. <laughs> the rain falls. Cut the frog into sushi. Why are we all missing? Is it the rain? Does the rain affect accuracy? Is that what the rain is doing? I could have just boosted water moves. Please don't put me to sleep. I really can't handle that again this time around. <laughs> Crisis. Crisis. Did you please wake up and eat that frog? Double slap hit five times. That's a total of ten slaps. If you don't wake up after ten slaps, don't try and tell me you're not in a coma. Wake up. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Crisis. I was never mad at you, sweetie. All of my rage was reserved for the frog. Now that sailor might be the last trainer. Here's what it will do. We're going to go up and we'll hit the story point so it's in today's episode and then we'll come back down and get the sailor. Perfect! Okay. Hi! This Pokemon has always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. There's a pharmacy in Cyanwood? Cyanwood? Can't leave Amphi unattended. Cool. Thank you for unlocking the door. Hello! <laughs> we will save- we will save the Ampharos. But not today. So we will go get that medicine for her, but we're just going to battle the sailor and get our final evolution. <laughs> My attack ball. Rawr! Roberto! Okay, cool. So with three Pokemon, this should definitely get Kenya the last, what, 10 XP she needs to evolve. Um, we might even be able to go for the, the fabled double level. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Don't use force. That's so annoying. Okay, so I'm not super afraid of karate chops. But then part of that is that I am a literal armored ball. I'm basically a bowling ball of doom. Cool, that's our level. So that's what we needed, and with the two Pokemon that's left, we might be able to get a second level, just like really push it. So I'm assuming that the like so we've got two Machops, and I'm assuming that the third one will be like a Machoke. A bowling ball so fast. So yeah, there was no like real big battle in this episode, but we did defeat one little rocket grunt. But mainly plot. Finding the next city. Making our way up the lighthouse. Plot, 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 plot. Losing a team member. But gaining another one as well, so... Oh, it's Poliwall as our final. We'll keep battling. Poliwall was unexpected though. Don't put me to sleep. Ah. Crisis, just come and deal with the frog for me, would ya? Here we go again. Oh, bury ya. Please stop slapping me around. There's just something so disrespectful about slapping someone. It's worse than the licking. No, it's not worse than the licking. Oh, this is the final battle. The disrespect. The disrespect. Crisis, please just wake up for me, baby. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Yay! And the Poliwhirl is done. And Crass is also going to get an evolution. I don't remember what Togetic turns into, but I know we've already made it. <laughs> okay, who's first on our evolution list? Okay, it looks like Kenya's first. So whatever's going to hatch out of this balling ball of doom, I am, I am here for it. Who is our final evolution of the day? It's to drop a rig! Oh, that's so many spots. Okay, okay, lots of little details on Giraffe Rig. How am I gonna stop from making a massive one? We're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best to not make a massive one. You know, Giraffe Rig's pretty cute. <laughs> Come here, let's show you off. Look at you with your little butt head. Alright, let's get a proper look at you now. So, Kenya's final evolution for today was into Giraffe Rig. Another normal type. I feel like normal types have been disproportionately represented over this playthrough, but that's okay. Inner focus. No flinching. No flinching for Kenya. Good for you, babe. Alright, so we're going to stop here and we're going to make our final Pokemon of the day, who is just the very overly complicated Giraffe Rig.
accidentally made eye contact with the Rhyperia and for one horrible moment I thought I had to throw it together again. Pokemon that we are adding to our Pokédex, our crochet decks today. It's a bit sad to see Cal go, but the lure of turning into Ho-Oh was just too great. Of all the Pokemon to take a member off the team, I was not seeing a Legendary coming. For some reason it feels like they are statistically less likely to turn up, when actually they are just as likely as any other one. But what are you going to do? Let me know in the comments who you want to see crop up in the next episode, but other than that I'll see you next week. Okay, bye!